what's going on YouTube in this video going to be going over the May games with gold in this video I'll be telling you what the games of gold are as you can see on the screen uh, their achievements so how much gamer score they'll give you how many achievements there are in their true achievement ratio and if you're going for completions if you should avoid any of them so the first one we'll be starting with is Armello. I guess that's how you say that it's a thousand gamer score 3179 true achievements 50 achievements it is a 40 to 50 hour completion out of 1800 people that have played it 29 have completed it so it is a two percent completion rate there are no buggy glitched or anything like that achievements but as you can tell with the 3179 it's kind of a harder game to complete and a 40 to 50 hour completion um it has very good ratings with a 4.1 but i'll personally be avoiding this game i might go ahead and download it just so i have it for in the future but with this game it seems like not a lot of people have played it so not a lot have completed it and the numbers could be skewed a little bit could take longer or could be quicker who knows next is dungeons 3 this game has a thousand gamer score 2850 true achievement 60 achievements and also is 40 to 50 hours most of the achievements are either uh, story based or missable. So, like a lot of them are complete missions without losing more than three creatures. Um, find it, kill these 15 heroes, you can sell magic, stuff like that. So, spe level specific uh, things that you need to do, and then just their overall uh, missions. There are a couple buggies, uh, like completing the storm of don't know what that word is in less than 40 minutes is a buggy achievement um other than that though they're all story based or missable and the missables are collectibles i guess or just beating missions in a certain way so this one uh probably won't be picking up either but it does seem like uh, a pretty cool game just by looking at some of the screenshots of it next you have lego batman um lego batman is Again, one of the LEGO series games that has a thousand gamer score, 1500 true achievement. There's 46 achievements, 20 to 25 hour completions. There are no buggy or, or sorry, there are no unobtainable achievements. There are a couple buggy rescue 25 civilians is one. Um, Smash all street lights, episode one, chapter one. And those two are the only buggy ones, but they are all still obtainable. Even though this is pretty, a pretty old game. Uh, out of 131,000 people, 31,000 have completed it, so 25% completion rate. Um, this game I may pick up. I don't play a lot of the LEGO games, but the ones I have played were kind of fun. I just don't pick them up because I don't think I would like to complete them. But even now, uh, working on my completion percentage just a little bit, so any achievements are helping at the moment as long as I can do that. Then the last game is Tropico 4. I actually have bought one of these. I don't remember which one I bought. I haven't played it. I believe I bought five. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but when I watch them online, uh, a guy named Inter... I don't know if Inter Elysium's actually play. I think he has played these, uh, but I watch him a lot because he played This War of Mine, which is like top five favorite games for me. Um, but this game is 1,250 gamer score, 2,100 and... Well, 2,200 true achievement with 60 achievements and is a 50 to 60 hour completion. Uh, the base game is a thousand gamer score, 50 achievements, and then the one DLC pack has 10 achievements. So if you're looking at that, this game is normally only $10 and these games are a lot of fun. So if you're looking at getting them, even without uh, paying for it this month, because of course it's free, $10 normal, and the other ones go on sale quite a bit. So if you're looking to get any of those, go ahead. Uh, a lot of these, or a couple of these are story based, the rest are just playing the game uh, and then unlocking them randomly. There are no unobtainable or missables at the moment. So, or not, sorry, not missables, unobtainables or glitchy ones. They're all working as they should be. So personally, um, there's looking like Lego Batman's easy completion for a thousand gamer score. Um, Tropico 4, just overall, I believe is a fun game. So that one would not be too bad to pick up either uh, for... You know, a thousand gamer score for around eighteen hundred true achievement, and then the other two games, Dungeons Three and Armillo, are fifty to sixty hour completions and hard achievements. So I probably won't be picking up those games, but that's just my personal opinion. 
So here you go, 2,000 gamer score, easy this month. The other ones you will have to work for a little bit. Let me know if you enjoy these videos or anything that else you would like to see on the channel. Uh, I've been putting out a couple MLB achievement guides, um, and now this game's with gold. I did miss the sales for this week. I could still do a video on them, but it's a day late, and I really don't like putting them out a day late. My work schedule just lined up terribly with getting that out this week. Also, um, the rest of this week, I'll be busy making Mother's Day shirts, glasses, and all of that uh, for my side business that I have. So I'll be doing that. And in the future, I will show off some of the stuff that I make um, just so y'all know what else I do. Anyway.